Use your favorite software to edit your image. I prefer Adobe Lightroom, but you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be showing you how to use the native photo app on your iPad. First, select your favorite image. Think about the tips from the previous video when selecting your favorite picture. Look for those strong, unified shadow structures. Then duplicate your image so you always have a protected original. Then select Edit, and instead of using the monochromatic preset, we are going to desaturate our image. Color sometimes is distracting, so we're just going to remove it for our reference. Then I'm going to adjust exposure so that way the brightest area of the skin is slightly under white. When you think about somebody's skin tone, it's never actually that white. Then I'm going to go back and forth between adjusting the highlights, the shadows, the blacks, the contrast, and the exposure to get the best tonal range of the values in the face. The goal is to create those unified shadow shapes while also highlighting the forms and the features of the face. You can always create multiple reference images. Sometimes I like to exaggerate shadows that way they're easier to reference and identify later when I'm drawing the image. Select Done, and now we're gonna create another duplicate to crop. I'm gonna use the ratio of my drawing page when I crop this image, and it's going to maintain that ratio. So use a two by three and drag in your corners. When cropping, remember this is about the portrait. So I'm going to eliminate anything that's not vital to my composition. I'm also going to try to place one of the third lines in line with the eyes of the portrait. Now when looking at mine, the embrace of my wife and daughter is somewhat important to what I'm trying to convey, so I'm intentionally leaving her arm just inside the frame. Then use whatever methods necessary that help you most accurately draw your portrait. Use Art Tutor to easily add a grid. Upload your cropped image, and then I can skip the next couple steps and apply my grid. This is a two by three ratio, so I can make this image a six by nine. So horizontally, I'm gonna have six boxes going across my image. Then apply the grid, and this gives you a slight preview, but to actually see what it's going to look like, you have to download the image. This image ends up in your download folder, so open it up, and I like to go ahead and make a copy of the image, that way it's in my camera roll for easy accessibility. And there you have it. This image is ready to reference and to draw an amazing portrait. You can always adjust the exposure after the grid's on there if it's harder to see than what you thought originally.